Well guys, this, <laughs> this is it. The day has finally come. Six years in the making. I can't believe this day is actually coming. Now, if you guys have been following along on my journey here on the Speed Phenom YouTube channel, well, you know that I've been making videos for a long time now. Right when I graduated high school, I continued making videos, but I went straight to college. Well, I am ending a chapter, I'm ending a book and starting a new one. And I want to make this video to really share with all of you guys my backstory and all the difficulties I've faced to, to try to inspire many of you to, to follow your dreams because one question I get asked so much is, hey Austin, well, well, why are you going to college? Why are you doing all this uh, business degree stuff? If you have that car right here to my right and then to the left of this video, there's a lot to it. It's more philosophical, I would say. I have come to learn and appreciate what so many of you have faced when getting your degree, where you're working full time, you're trying to pay your way through college. Like for me, for example, every day I'd go to classes and then I'd try to plan out the next video and the stuff we've done, I mean, world's first ride in a CA Corvette, same with the Z06, getting the first GT500, working with exotic brands and going to, for example, England to the McLaren factory. There's so many incredible things that that we've done here the past couple of years, even me pursuing my passion of racing as well and putting down lap times that the scope of what we've been able to do, and it's all thanks to you being by my side this entire time to allow me to pursue this opportunity. In summary, for all of you who have to work a job to provide for your family or pay the bills and also pay your way through college, I know exactly how it feels. And the word that I'm describing right now is perseverance. Through all the difficulties and the trials and errors, I stuck with it. Not because I needed the piece of paper, it's because it was a life goal of mine. I've always wanted to go to college. The feelings right now are, are surreal. You grow up, you go to middle school, high school, then you might go to college. Once that chapter ends, it's like the long haul is ahead and, and that's, I feel very, uh, humbled and intimidated by it. Okay guys, well that's it. The time has come so I gotta get inside the car and uh, head down south for the, the big ceremony. This feels surreal. This feels crazy in every single way possible. This is it guys, your boy Speed Phenom. He is over here finally graduating college. Uh, six long years I've spent out here in college making all those videos online for all you guys. So. Uh, Today, today's finally the day. Wow, this is it, guys. Better than I expected. Can't believe that this is uh, this is actually happening. Doing business while well, getting a business degree, right? <laughs> Look at all the chairs, guys. Got the stands right there, the commencement going on. Okay, this is it right here. <laughs> Will you please stand? Absolutely. You may now move your tassels from right. Yeah! Graduates, if you've been waiting for that moment to toss your cap, now's the time. Congratulations to our class of 2024. I want to share some thoughts that I have to, to maybe help those of you who are wanting to kickstart your, your lives and whether you're in high school right now or you're in your 20s, 30s and you're looking at different options uh, for your future, I think my tips at least will give you uh, an example of what my life has been like uh, leading up to this moment to maybe inspire many of you. Because I know many of you who have, have at least wondered about your future and the difficulties ahead. I'll be honest, at first when I was starting this channel and things initially were taking off, it still is going great. So I can't believe how far we've come. but. I would always hear the stories of Steve Jobs, all these different uh, executives and entrepreneurs who dropped out of college. For example, uh, the person in charge of Facebook, Zuckerberg, he dropped out of, of college. I'll be honest, at first I really did think I was wasting my time. I even made a video saying dropping out of college to buy my first supercar and if you saw that video you know it was of the McLaren 600LT 
Well, flash forward three plus years later, I came back and I ended up finishing what I started and, and getting this uh, business degree with a focus on entrepreneurship. Do you know what I came to appreciate? The milestone, the opportunity to go to college, the people and the experiences all around me. I decided to come back despite the increased workload and the impacts it would have on my own business. I focused on making it possible to get these vehicles and pay my college to survive in those windows because everything in life there there's an opportunity cost. If you spend time doing one thing over something else you could be losing money. Everyone says time is money, right? I know it's a cliche, but it really is true. If you're clocking in, working your job, next thing you know, you need to get your yard work done. Well, are you gonna take time off to go do yard work? Or would you be making more money spending that entire day in the office and paying someone else to get that work done? That's what I'm talking about here. Yes, I took the risk and despite the time it was taking away from running my business, I stuck with it. So that's why you've seen on the channel certain, certain windows where there's been a lack of, of content, especially this uh, past five months because it's been my final semester of college and it's been a, a lot of work to, to get here. I feel as a YouTuber, it's a funny word to say, but my life is sort of in a bubble. I make videos, I love to read all your comments, and I try to respond to them, but oftentimes I don't have time to respond to all the comments and get college exams done and work to schedule new videos. There's so much going on, and I, I edit these videos too. So I apologize for sometimes in the videos I don't respond to all the comments. I really do read them, and, and I appreciate all of your support. What I'm getting at here though is that for this final semester, I looked at it like a final window, an opportunity to, to take advantage of where I am right now, getting this degree that many people don't have the opportunity to do so. I even chose the cheapest college I could find in a SoCal because I didn't want to spend UCLA money or to a big college institution. There's nothing wrong with that by any means. I totally respect uh, the different institutions out there, but I chose to go on this route so I could focus on, you know, paying for stuff like this, uh, going to the track and traveling to make these videos that I know many of you really do enjoy watching. I, I do it because of what I get to share being an automotive enthusiast. I'm always working nonstop. So when I found this semester coming to an end, I really looked at it as an opportunity to make lasting memories, meet people, and start paving the way to my future while learning who I am. I believe these memories, those connections, and building your identity is what truly matters the most. I'm a dreamer and I am the dream too. For those of you dreamers who are contemplating college, I really do have to recommend it because it gives you structure, gives you the opportunity to work towards a goal for multiple years at a time to show that you could stick with something until the end. Yes, it also helps for starting your career. I believe this educational journey of constantly pushing yourself, taking on more risk, more pressure, truly marks an influential moment and rite of passage in someone's life. To the entrepreneurs out there thinking of quitting, do you use that same mindset for running your business? No, college is not for everyone either, I'll be honest here. I don't regret it, I don't regret it at all. I'm happy I went, the, the memories that I've been able to create, the friendships that I've been able to establish, and those little moments of learning something new or a different concept I didn't originally conceive of for running a business, I've now adopted and pushing through it despite the challenges you're facing in, in your life or difficulties paying bills. If you, if you try to take on all that pressure and manifest it within you, I believe it helps to create the better version of yourself you're looking for. In the times of uncertainty, we put our feet forward into the unknown to find out what there is to know, to learn who we are. And for those reasons, for pushing myself, the pressures of trying to buy uh, supercars and go to the track, push myself to the limit, put down lap times, give you guys benchmarks, everything, meeting all of you, it's been 
quite a challenge, but now I get to use all of what I've learned to help establish my future moving forward. And I wanna thank all of you so much for being there with me throughout all the trials and tribulations. This is just the beginning. I've never been able to fully commit. I'm happy to start that journey with all of you. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to like button. It really does help me out and subscribe for much more great videos coming out your way. Hit the like button. It really does help me out again. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any YouTube videos coming out. It's time to get back to the race track and stay tuned for all the track videos and comparisons coming out your way. Let's do it.